It's Chippy at the ECS booth at CBIT 2011 and we're taking a look at one of their designs for uh, an Oak Trail based tablet uh, that they plan to get out in uh, well, actually very soon, calendar week uh, 14 we're here in 2011. It's actually a really nice lightweight and this is uh, true of a lot of the Oak Trail devices we've seen. Big difference to Pine Trail platform. Um, so it's giving us fairly thin design. There's a 24 watt hour battery in here so that's as big as uh, uh, the iPad, iPad battery and a lightweight, it actually says 800 but they're talking about under 700 grams and you really can feel it. You really can hold this in one hand, it's actually quite nice. Auto rotate as you can see there. Um, it's a 102 4 by 600 screen on this one but there is an option, of course the uh, ECS are making designs for customers, uh, they won't have an ECS branded product out but you should expect to see a product in the USA in uh, calendar week 14, 15, 16, maybe a bit later than that and in Russia as well, um, but we don't know the specs. SSD, 16 or 32 gigs, um, one or, I'm not sure if they can, yeah, max two gigs of, of RAM, I'm looking at some of the specs here, the SSD, 16 or 32 uh, gigs with a SATA interface, we've got BGN, Bluetooth 3, and an option for a uh, 3.75G module, that's probably HSPA Plus or, or WiMAX uh, options there. They're talking about six hours battery life on this. Now, this is the first time we've actually had a chance to do battery life test on Otrail, because I've just run the Windows uh, rating here. So, processor, and let's try and keep this in focus. Processor speed 1.6, memory speed excellent 4.2, graphics 2.9, that's m better than we've seen on, on Menlo before. Gaming graphics 3, that's also pretty good. Hard drive is also looking not too bad there. So let's have a quick look after we've done that test, which is a kind of a, we have 83% battery remaining, 3 hours 46 minutes. So 6 hours sounds to me to be the max they can get right now. Remember the design isn't finished, they're also looking at putting, uh, squeezing bigger batteries in and optimizing the, the, uh, the uh, motherboard on this. But that is looking like a 5 hours in use. Four to five hours in use battery life uh, on, on this device. For 700 grams, that's really not bad at all. Um, touch, capacitive touchscreen on that, and um, let's just take a look around the device. So, actually, on the front, we've got home uh, start button, we've got a home button which hopefully just clears the screen, maybe not, and a back button. These, okay, so we've got uh, some overlay software here. Let's ignore that for the minute, go around the device and the hardware. Volume up and down button. Here's the power switch. On the top, one full USB headphone port, HDMI out and a full SD card. There's some grills here. This is not hot. I assume this is a speaker output. On the other side, nothing here. On the bottom, again, no heat. I'm not sure. That probably is the speaker output here. Let's go to the back. There's um, nothing here. These are just uh, screws, so it's a plain back. And there's a little little bit of heat around this area here. This was on charge as we were uh, before we were doing the video. On the front webcam, probably yep. There's a <laughs> very reactive uh, ambient light sensor there, and that's pretty much it for the front. So you've got a nice right array of ports. I mean, full SD, HDMI. Remember, this does 1080p uh, 1080p uh, output. So um, interesting. I'm really looking forward to the Oak Trail stuff and uh, ECS tell us that their customers will be the first on the market. Funny, we might have heard that before somewhere, we might hear that again somewhere at CBIT this week, but we're looking forward to it. Calendar week 14, 16, 17, who knows. This is Chippy at the ECS booth, CBIT 2011. Thanks for watching.